from Ukraine and welcome to my channel again. Today I would like to talk about tea and coffee culture in Ukraine, how people see it seriously, what is it like here, and I think I have what to tell you. So I'm walking in the city center that is called Kreshatik Street and I will stroll to Maidan and you will see behind me a lot of small coffee shops and kiosks. First of all, we do not have here Starbucks and uh, like some foreigners say, we do not lose anything. I do feel that coffee is pretty the same. Uh, when I travel Western countries, people have the same taste. Someone, you know, like espresso, someone like latte, etc. But I think here they make more interesting drinks than abroad. Tea is a culture here, especially when you are invited as a guest to Ukrainian home, drinking tea, green or black, with sweet stuff it's a, like a tradition it's like a special atmosphere it's very cozy and domestic i saw that some asian countries they do do like this you know this tea culture and everything but i think in ukraine and east europe tea culture is even stronger it's very nice uh, to sit in the kitchen with your family with your loved one drink tea and exchange your emotions uh, after the day about outside the street you can see coffee kiosks tea coffee kiosks every single corner and i like that in restaurants they serve special tea like fruit tea not green or black but they have bakhtern tea i'm sure you don't know what that raspberry tea mango tea that has no caffeine but it tastes really nice i also uh, noticed that it doesn't matter what cuisine the restaurant is it can be real japanese indian or italian uh, similar tea will be served everywhere because ukrainians do like it in winter they serve tea in summer they serve the lemonades in uh, these little kiosks uh, there are a lot of different coffees also interesting one lavender with syrup that i adore to experiment and to try recently much of tea and latte became very popular here and i think you can buy it in a lot of um, restaurants and coffees nowadays so how much can a tea or coffee cost here usually around one dollar if it's a middle latte cup if you want a bigger one with some syrups, it will cost around 35 hryvnia, which is something like one and a half dollars. I can tell you that there is a kind of like a local Starbucks that is called Aroma Kava. It became really popular, like a chain right now. It can be kiosk or a cafe where you can sit and rest. I would like also mention about such drink as a flyers help people who work well so i would like to mention you about the drink as i noticed a lot of foreigners don't understand what's that it's called a green twain here it is a hot wine it can be white usually red with a lot of different spices species uh, like cinnamon anise etc and it tastes really nice it can be also non-alcoholic I order it a lot and this is really really good flavor it can be like a cherry juice I have to also mention you about uh, that people like to stroke here a lot have a walk especially when it's a um, uh, warmer time it's really nice cozy atmosphere you go to the park and what you do right you buy a cup of coffee or a tea and it's like I think it became really popular the street coffee tea maybe seven years ago before that I don't think we had so many of that I do believe it's all Western influence but it's not bad influence and recently it became like a nice business this is the scheme that I've been telling you city center and 
this is a nice influence and uh, recently a good business however I think there's too many of kiosks right now especially in the city center that's why I would not um, recommend you to make it as long as you think you can do something really really special so that was all my thoughts about tea and coffee culture let me know if you notice something else because I'm always learning my culture from your angle, actually. I hope you have a good day. Make sure you check my site, thaiukraine.com. I can help you with a lot of stuff, like preparing for your trip, consultating about relationships or your travel, and also finding you a flat. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Find me on a lot of social media and maybe see you in Ukraine. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.